Always some pretty cool information and uh, lots of information to be shared today because it's election day. David Yonkai from the Lulak Political Letter is back. We see him uh, every month and of course around election day. David, great to have you here today. Very happy to be here. Happy election day. Yeah, a number of big <laughs> races that uh, people are looking at. Uh, let's start with the mayoral races. Which ones are of most interest there? Two big ones in Hazleton and in Wilkesbury in Hazleton. Uh, Jeff Cassette, uh, uh, Scott Cahalan and uh, Jack Mundy are running. Uh, for that office. Um, uh, Cahalan is an independent, but he might be depending on write-ins. In Wilkesbury, there are two names on the ballot, uh, Tony George and Frank Sork, but there's another uh, person, person's on the ballot, and that, there's going to be a big write-in effort for former mayor, uh, or, or for current mayor, uh, Tom Layton, who decided not to run. And then there are other people who are actually writing people in because they're not happy with the two choices that they have between Sork and Tony. So Sork. do you think there could be any surprises with the Wilkes-Barre mayoral race? Not really. Not. I, I don't think so. I do think, though, the first person who hits 3,000 votes is actually going to become the next mayor of Wilkes-Barre. And when you have so many write-ins, that may hurt the Democratic candidate, Tony George. So you might see a little bit of a surprise upset with Frank Sork. I'm not going to call it either way, but it's going to be very close. Right, it's going to be watch. a margin of between 100 votes, I think. That's incredible. So we'll be having these uh, election results all night long right here on Eyewitness News. And a couple of others uh, involving district attorney. Talk about those. Pike County, Ray Tonkin was the Republican uh, district attorney. He lost in the primary to Kelly Gaughan. And that race is going to have great ramifications because of the Eric Frame trial. And whoever wins that race is going to be, um, uh, you know, trying that case. Tonkin is running as a, Repu as a Democrat because he lost the Republican nomination. Uh, Luzerne County, Stephanie Salavantis is running against um, uh, Vito DeLuca. Again, that race, um, four years ago, uh, Salavantis won by about 200 votes. Heavily Democratic registration, but there's a lot of people on the Democratic side who are going to be pulling for Salavantis. And then on the other side, there's, there's, there's Republicans who are actually behind Vito DeLuca. So there's a lot, when this race is over, it's going to be very interesting to see how these votes went, where, in, where the votes came from. Now, we also have uh, the county council and commissioner in Luzerne, Lackawanna County, respectively. Uh, what's going on there? County council, This, if, if, if the person, well, uh, the majority of the people on the county council, they are probably going to be picking the next county manager. And in Lackawanna County, we have commissioners running. We have, uh, you know, the four people running, plus another writing candidate. We talked about uh, the writings before. And those uh, two candidates, Patrick O'Malley and uh, Jerry Notariani, are running on the Democratic side. On the Republican side, Bill Jones and Lorraine Cummings, and then uh, Charlie Spano is doing a ride. And the interesting thing about this race, they're also sp they're all supposed to be running as teams, but what's going to happen is they're all running five separate campaigns. <laughs> well, something to watch as we go through the rest of tonight and tomorrow morning. And of course, we were talking about wardrobe earlier in the show, and uh, you missed out on the red uh, traditional... I did political the, analyst message too. I did the blue today. It's so. America. Yeah, yeah, it's America, and it's the name Dave. I think that's We're right. Kind of independent guys. We could wear what we wear, and don't forget, you can find out all about the election tonight on Eyewitness News on pahomepage.com, on our Facebook page, and David Yonkai will be back tomorrow morning on Eyewitness News, beginning at 5 a.m. with his analysis there. David, thank you so much for being on. Very happy to be here. All right, let's head over to Valerie.